हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर्स रिव्यू टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज एन जी ओज आर दे बीन स्ट्रेंगुलेटेड नॉन गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एन जी ओज और नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एन पी ओ इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज रजिस्टर्ड अंडर द सैंक्शन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड वर्क फॉर द अपलिफ्टमेंट ऑफ सोसाइटी Every NGO has a particular cause and all their activities are directed towards achieving it. These organizations were created on a voluntary basis by like-minded individuals who joined together to achieve a social cause and they operate as autonomous bodies free from intervention from the government. Unregistered NGOs are not registered by the government but carry out their activities independently of the government while Registered ones are registered by the government under various statutes. India, as per CSO, has around 3.2 million registered non-government organizations out of which an estimated 1.5 million are operating as of today. Niti Aayog has been appointed as the nodal agency for the purpose of registration and accreditation of NGOs that seek government funds. Even Foreign Contribution Regulation Act which was legislated in 1976 aims to regulate the flow of foreign funds to indian voluntary organizations and others to prevent foreign players from carrying out anti national activities in india foreign exchange management act was enacted in the year 1999 post the lpg reforms to keep a tab on the growing inflow of foreign exchange into the country lastly as per the recent supreme court's judgment NGOs that are substantially funded by the government would fall under the ambit of the RTI Act and have to abide by its disclosure norms. NGOs do not work for commercial rewards and are rather driven by the spirit of social service to the fellow beings. NGOs employ the subject experts who are cut out for the particular task and even bring the international experts to the work. They are private organizations bereft of hierarchy as they do not need approvals from various levels to initiate their work. They often undertake welfare activities even in the remotest corners of the country which are usually neglected by the government officials due to the want of proper transportation system. NGOs personal enjoy a great amount of public trust and camaraderie. As a result, their work gets easier with a higher amount of public approval. Many of the NGOs which receive foreign funding are opaque to the government's scrutiny as they do not divulge their source of funding. NGOs over dependence on government for the funding basically dilutes their credential. Hence, T doesn't allow them to work independently. Under the garb of activism, many NGOs, especially those funded by foreign agencies have been found to be interfering in our cultural practices. Due to the presence of multiple number of NGOs working in the same area, often times their works result in duplication and thus leading to wastage of resources. Many times, the stated purpose and the actual expenditure doesn't match as a result. Funds received for one purpose are diverted to further the personal agendas of the NGOs. Many of the staff in NGOs are getting lured by the above the market salaries being offered by the big NGOs. As a result not all the NGOs working with humanitarian zeal the agitation of the NGOs sometimes gain international media's attention and undermine India's soft power credentials many NGOs are reported to have been abused as a conduit for round tripping the illegally sourced money download material for this issue from our website please like and share this video Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you.